friends can come in all shapes, sizes, and species. When a young black-faced spoonbill was severely injured during a rainstorm, a very kind man decided to nurse him back to health. These birds are, sadly, endangered, so it is even more special that this man took the time to help the little guy out. The black-faced spoonbill is a large white water bird with a long neck and legs. Their body size is 60 to 78 centimeters in length. It can be easily identified by its big black spoon-shaped bill. The body is covered with white feathers, but the facial skin is bare and black, but no feather around the eye. During the breeding season, the plumage on the head and chest turns yellow and has elongated head feathers. The two became inseparable and formed a strong bond during the bird's recovery. He even gave him a name, Doongi. Someone reported him. He floated down the monsoon. Then I found him completely worn out. Doongi was in critical condition when he was found, exhausted and clinging to life. The bird's health took a turn for the better after the man devoted most of his time to becoming Doongi's surrogate mother. Soon, Doongi was doing so well that it was time for a change of scenery. He used to be as tiny as my fist. Now he's grown much bigger than when he was discovered. I think I need to train him in a larger space. The man started to create an environment outside for Doongi to hunt live prey. He hoped this would help the bird learn to hunt. This would hopefully help Doongi return to the wild. When Doongi first discovered the outdoor pond complete with fish, he was still a little hesitant. The man made a point to move his hand from side to side in the water, teaching the bird to do the same. Eventually, the bird gets the hang of it and is hunting on his own. This makes his papa proud. When Doongi was first rescued, he couldn't fly, but that was about to change. The man made an effort to coax the bird off the roof and even threw him into the air to get him to use his wings. Eventually, hard work paid off and Doongi was flying as if he had never been injured. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. The bird seems to be curious when he sees his fellow spoonbills, but he ultimately decides that beside his mother, the old man, is where he wants to be. The man tells him, look, your family is over there. I thought he would join the group, but he's too familiar with humans as he was raised by them, so he needs to be separated from the man first, the Korean Bird Research Center. It was time for Doongi to live at a rescue center with other black-faced spoonbills so he could get used to less human contact, which would speed up his return to the wild. At first it was difficult for Doongi as he was being pushed away from the food by the other birds. If he can't overcome this hurdle, he won't be able to go back to nature again, YouTube Critter Club. Doongi does get the hang of it and stands his ground in order to hunt for food. A few days later, the man comes to visit him to see how things are going. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so concerned whether he adjusted to new surroundings or not. With the staff's permission, the man enters the enclosure and spots his little friend. He calls out to him and the bird turns toward him when he hears the familiar voice. He immediately recognizes the old man and walks over to him chirping happily. He laughs and says, I'm about to cry. Doongi, you have to do everything on your own from now on. The video is bittersweet. The bond between the bird and his surrogate mother is so strong. However, they both know it is time for them to go their separate ways. Blackface Spoonbill is a water bird restricted mainly to the East Asia region. It is the smallest and rarest of the six spoonbill species in the world. It is recognized as a successful case of conservation with international collaboration, which helped the population recover from only a few hundred in the 1990s to over 5,000 birds in 2021. The black-faced spoonbill Platalea minor is a globally endangered species, and the majority of its population breed on uninhabited islands off the west coast of the Korean peninsula. The Blackface Spoonbill Working Group was set up in October 2013 to coordinate conservation efforts using the International Single Action Plan 2010 as the basis of their ongoing work. The working group members include representatives from all of the principal range states. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.